What is up, and it's going to go Simpsy here, and today for you, I have another episode of my FIFA 14 Manchester United crew mode. In today's episode, we have a match against Liverpool, and uh, we have uh, a lot of simulation matches, because basically, what I, my favourite part of the career mode is, is getting to that January transfer window, and uh, if I can do that as quickly as possible, that would be awesome. Now, um, we're nearly getting to that stage into the career mode, and I feel like I hit the very, um, obviously a little bit earlier in my Real Madrid career mode, but I'm coming up the same sort of thing, whereas we're going into matches and we're guaranteed to win. Now, I don't mind that because I like playing with these players, and I like having a lot of money and bringing in some new talent, and I like seeing the progression and uh, bringing up the youth. But it is getting a little bit easy. Now, would you guys like to see a Season 3 of the Manchester United career mode? I don't really fuss about it, but I think it's getting a little bit easy. And uh, it, there's an option. Nothing's set in stone. I can do Season 3. I cannot. It's completely up to you guys. Uh, put in the comment section down below. I'd like to know your thoughts and opinions. And, of course, if you've left... Uh, yeah, leave a like. Yeah, leave a like, please. And uh, if you've left a dislike, uh, make sure to say why in the comment section down below, all constructive criticism is uh, welcome. So we have a match against Liverpool, Mario Goetze trying to get on the ball here, he's been having a spectacular season, uh, being the main playmaker for Manchester United, and you, can, you can't forget Shinji Kagawa, and uh, a rebound off the shot here, Sami Nasri scores an absolute howler, and uh, what a player, <laughs> like, like I said, um, I, I wouldn't expect Sammy, I didn't expect Sammy Nasri when I first started this career mate to be a first team player for Manchester United and uh, to be a really good player to be honest. I am so, so surprised I keep on going on about it. How the fuck did Manchester City let me sign him for 13 million? We, we're going to make a profit on him. Um, when he turns 28 years old, I'll most likely sell him, but this season, what a fantastic, fantastic signing. He's, near, he's up there with nearly the Marco Royce signing. And, uh, well, I could say Saga because we sold him for an absolute fucking dick load. Slumdog Mingale uh, let a goal through on goal. Uh, I'm not too sure how Neymar even got the shot off by that, but look at that. That's overpowered as fuck. <laughs> Neymar is absolutely incredible in this game. And uh, shit like that makes me think, well, should I start upping the difficulty? I am playing on world class. I'm not playing on... Uh, legendary Shinji Kagawa getting on the score sheet and we're having a massive demolition derby against uh, Liverpool making a run there and my capture card actually fucked up so you didn't actually see the live part of that clip but I will show you the replay like I did record. Um, it's nearly turning to be <laughs> uh, one of my most scored uh, high scoring games for this season a matter of fact but Liverpool um, you can never out um, yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> I think I changed my mind about saying that. Gareth Bale threw on goal, and I'm so, so surprised he didn't manage to finish that. Um, what the fuck? <laughs> but it was Neymar to score his second, and uh, I have no idea how he even got that. Uh, but like I was going to say, um, you can never f um, forget about Daniel Sturridge and uh, Luis Suarez. They are both emphatic goal scorers and uh, like I said you can never um, outrule them. Wayne Rooney picking up on the score sheet hopefully sends an absolute howler past the goal like that actually was a howl that was fucking shit. <laughs> Gareth Bale trying to score a goal trying to live up with Sami Nasri and uh, Fuck, that was a good hit. <laughs> Neymar I have no idea how that didn't dip past Slumdog Mingale but uh, we're still winning 4-0, we're dominating Liverpool, and uh, Gareth Bale hopefully trying to score his goal of the, the match, and man, when the way he moves and like the animation where he cuts back onto his left foot is really fucking awesome. We shut down Liverpool, and uh, to be quite honest, we dominated them. Uh, Neymar scored two goals, Shinji Kagawa scored one, and of course Sami Nazri. Varane, funnily enough, got a goal assist, and PK got man of the match, which... I feel um, Sammy Nasri should have got man of the match. He played awesome. He got a lot of passes off. And, uh, yeah. So, we had a Champions League match against Valencia. We ended up drawing 1-1. One, one. 
And uh, we had a match against Derby County. We ended up winning 3-0. Like, what's the point of playing a match against Derby County? I don't think they've won a game this season. If they have only won one or two or whatnot, like, it's, it's fucking stupid. <laughs> we had a match against Arsenal. We ended up winning 2-1. Wayne Rooney and Kagawa getting on the score sheet. We had a Barclays Premier League match against West Brom. We ended up drawing 1-1. And I feel like simulating as well um, makes me draw and lose matches. And uh, that's realistically uh, realistic to the Manchester United season. We're not going to go in and win every single match or, or draw or whatnot. But we had a match against West Ham. We ended up winning 4-0. Neymar scoring 2. Wayne Rooney scoring 2. And Mario Goetze scoring 1. So you can kind of see... Um, I had a, a good amount of fixtures at home that were easy to do, and then like the away matches were relatively easy as well. We had a match against Aston Villa, we ended up winning 2-1, Bale, Hernandez, and uh, Alaba ended up picking up a red card. So guys, um, basically, I'm not really happy about this, but Shinji Kagawa has uh, decided to leave the club, He's he was like to leave, which is very disappointing. The season he's been having has been absolutely fantastic. But, um, yeah, he wants to leave. He wants to go on bigger and better things. And I feel that Real Madrid uh, might be knocking on the door for him. And Laic, that means Laic, um, funnily enough, <laughs> a couple of days later, Laic actually said he wanted a bigger role at the club. But we are in the January transfer window now. And uh, we'll have to see how Shinji Kagawa uh, goes to. Uh, hopefully he doesn't go to a rival club. That would be a massive kick in the teeth. But, guys, you can put the comment section down below. Uh, players you like me to sign. Once again, I don't need to sign anyone in particular, just a general gist, but once Shinji goes, we're probably going to have to get a replacement for him. Maybe we can get Marco Royce, maybe we can get Muller, uh, Ozil, what are some other world-class midfielders? Eden Hazard. It's all up to you guys in the comment section down below. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Sim Sim Outlays, my friends. Goodbye.